There was a guy called Samuel Langley who did get $25,000, a lot of money in those days, off the American government for a mission-oriented um, project to invent flight. They thought they'd picked a winner. And he was indeed a very clever fella. I mean, he was head of the Smithsonian Institution. He was an astrophysicist. Uh, you just, there's no spots on they had, Samuel. They had the right experts in the room. They'd got the right chap. Yeah. And he said to himself, look, I'm so clever that there's no point in me talking to anyone else. I'm going to do this in secret. And then, because I know it's going to work, I'm going to unveil it in front of a crowd of people on the Potomac River in October 1903. And and uh, here we go. And he did so. And the uh, pilot he'd chosen had taken the precaution of putting on a cork-lined suit. And sure enough, he was in the water in 20 feet. <laughs> so, so, But eight weeks later, on an island off North Carolina, two bicycle mechanics without a degree between them, Orville and Wilbur Wright, um, uh, succeeded where where Langley had failed, uh, to the fury of the government who and, and the the intelligentsia didn't believe them. You know, the Scientific American ran an article saying if two bicycle mechanics from Ohio have invented powered flight, then we would know about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't.